My name is Sarah Silverman, and I feel am, ambivalent, I guess, or what's... Well, that's just fantastic. <laughs> oh. That's great. No, that's... That's wonderful. They don't... They you know, don't... kings and queens, royalty has done this podcast. Really? Who? I didn't think you'd follow up with a question. What king? No king. <laughs> what What queen? I, I made it up. I was trying to con you into thinking that it was a much bigger deal than it was. And now I have to come clean. I don't believe we've had a king or a queen. Have you had, have a, not, have no. you had a princess? No. No. We haven't had any... Any royalty. Uh, no royalty at all. And so I understand now why you're ambivalent about being on this podcast. Yeah, I mean, come on. it's Who would we get? I don't even know who we would get. Any member of any royal family. You get Harry <laughs> Oh, and that's Meghan. how it works. Well, how do we do that? I don't have any pull with those people. I mean, I feel like the ones in those smaller royal families would totally come on. We could maybe Ask get them. Ask them to fly themselves here. Yeah, put themselves up. <laughs> Very strange opening to a podcast interview. And like I say, I've talked to kings, queens. Uh, I've talked to them all from Bogey to Bacall. But I, uh, I, you know, I love you. I do. And, I've, and I have for a long time. And, um, and we've been in the comedy trenches together. I like to act like it's sort of like trench warfare. Yeah. When doing comedy is nothing like trench warfare. Right. Uh, dysentery, rats, bullets flying. Um, I remember when you first came on my show in, I think it was 1993, when you were yeah. seven years old. That's right. You were just a tiny, tiny kid when you came on my show for the first time. And I was like your friendly old uncle. I was frightened. You mean know, I was more of a creepy uncle? No, just to, you know, be on TV. Oh, you were afraid to be on TV? <clears throat> no, I don't know. Maybe you were. I don't, I don't know. know. Were but you being always... on your show is the best. Well, thank you. But you always seemed fearless, always. Um, and I know that that's not true, but you're really good at faking it. Right. Thank you. And uh, you're really good at going out there with really smart, very edgy material and uh, selling it. And and afterwards, you leave this impression of sweetness and light. And I always think, how is that, how is that possible? Do you know what I mean? It's a magic trick you managed to pull off. It's like an aftertaste. There is. There's a very pleasant, God loves Sarah. She's so great after you're done. And then when I look at the transcript of some of the mm -hmm. things that you've said, uh, I, you know, I want to have you arrested. So it's a very, very cool thing that you do. Thank you. Uh can't this is over now. To say. We're, no, we're done. We're done. <laughs> there was no question. I was just saying nice things about you. I was happy. I walked into the office, and you had already gotten here. And I walked upstairs, and um, immediately I see you wearing a Filson's winter hat, mm -hmm. which makes me really happy. I know you're from New Hampshire. Yeah, uh, I'm from Massachusetts. I'm wearing. Uh, I'm willing the weather to be colder than it is here in Los Angeles. So I'm wearing a very, I think you described it as very sexy and manly. Uh, maybe I said that. I, I think it's, it's what it is, is it's, um, I would say this is LA rugged. Mm -hmm. But um, you know how you can like buy like thousand dollar sneakers that look like they're used yeah. and um, jeans with holes in them and they're like expensive. Yeah. I mean, I'm just saying like if this were for actual cold weather, it would be lined. It would be lined. Would it's be lined. not lined. You're and right. what is this new fancy thing of unlined clothes? That's cheaper. Well, I don't think this is a very, I'm honestly saying this is not a very expensive uh, Is it a jacket shirt. or a shirt? You know, that's, it's yes. called a shacket. <laughs> Is it really? No, I just made that oh. up. It's kind of a halfway between. Yeah. Who makes it? It's not like this fancy company. It Maybe is a company called Flint, Flint and Tinder. Yeah. Oh, you knew. Well, the minute you, you said Flint, it. I knew what it was. Flint oh, and Tinder. Flint yeah. and Tinder. And I'm not doing an ad for them, but if they want to send me some stuff, I'll yeah. split it with you. Okay. Um, it is nice though. I'm being. I'm negging you because I read uh, the game. And uh, I heard that, yeah, that like brings them, you know, I prey on your insecurities that you'll, you'll want from me uh, more if I uh, neg you. Yeah. I'm always current. It's from about 19 years ago. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> it was current 19 years ago. You but, know when people on the internet go like, 
Oh, remember when you used to be funny? Or is that just me? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. I've never had, I've, this is interesting. I'm the only celebrity that's never had a negative thing said about me in social media. Oh my God, that's I've amazing. Had them, I've had them scrub the entire internet since 1993. It's unbelievable. Not one negative comment wow. ever of any kind. Oh my God. So anyway, you get that sometimes? Remember uh, when you used to be uh, funny? N- um, yeah, I do. But I get that and I go, oh, these jerks, they're you know, whatever. But then last night I was like, I remembered some old material and I was like, I did used to be way funnier. <laughs> I mean, that is, uh, and I do remember it. I mean, I was pretty hardcore funny. Yeah. You know? It's funny because my response would be, you used to think I was funny. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Like what year specifically? Uh, 1995. What's that? You're all red. I just wanted to see my fingerprint. Oh, am I all red? <laughs> yeah, you just suddenly got red. <laughs> I think because I... Is it? <laughs> you know, I am, as we all know, very white. And when I laugh or show joy, my face gets red in that Irish way. And then, yes, you can put your palm on my forehead. And if you take it off quickly. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Cool, right? <laughs> yeah, it's really fun. Is I it just, cool? Well, the problem is I just burst a vessel in my brain. <laughs> so I've got about 30 seconds to live. Yeah. Isn't it just funny what we do for... To, to get a laugh. I mean, I can like make my hand like really like contorted, like, you know, like I go like this. Oh my God. Yeah. Look at that. And people go, how do you do that? I go, it hurts. I, you know, I like, <laughs> just like, that's how bad I want attention, I guess. <laughs> uh, oh, it, it is... Uh, I can't do it's that at all. Just painful. That I'm looks just... insane. I, I mean, look at that. That is. Oh my absolute... god! Absolute. Ah, we'll take a picture so you can post a still. Well, I think we already got it. Look at that. What is this a video podcast? <laughs> yeah. Is it really? Sure. Why not? <laughs> oh no. No, you look amazing. Well, I you guess. Look fantastic. Um, I, uh, I, to that point, if I thought I could make. It's got to be a pretty good sized crowd. I'm going to say at least 3,500. Oh. Let's talk like Beacon Theater, some big crowd. Yeah. But wow. if I thought it would get a really big, great reaction, I would shatter my pelvis. <laughs> <laughs> if I knew that that was going to happen beforehand and they said it's going to really hurt and you'll get some, it'll be like a year before you walk again and you're going to have a lot of pins, I'd be saying, but how hard do they laugh? Right. And they'd say, well, you know, it's like a four minute, four minutes. Wow. 